Liquid cartilage replacement is replacing the cartilage in a liquid form. Traditionally, when we're replacing cartilage, it entails open surgery. However, with the new technology come along with liquid cartilage replacement, it can be done under a keyhole. What we're trying to do within that liquid cartilage replacement is to find a defect where the cartilage is, freshen that defect and replace it with this liquid. And that liquid will cure within the joint. Once that, joint, once that is cured, new cartilage will grow onto that liquid to form new cartilage. The ideal candidate for liquid cartilage replacement is for patients that would like to have minimal invasive surgery. They have damage in the cartilage, but they don't have severe advanced osteoarthritis. We often assess patients with an MRI scan. With the MRI scan, we can identify where the lesion is and how big it is. Up to a certain size, liquid cartilage replacement is possible. Anything bigger than that, it may be difficult. However, if it is not possible for us to do cartilage replacement, there are other things that we can do. Liquid cartilage replacement is a minimal invasive surgery. It will replace and regenerate the cartilage defect within the joint. The benefit of it is to, once the cartilage replace, it will regenerate and regrow and it become part of yourself. It will then re renew, regenerate and reduce the wear around the joint. We, in a way, it will halt and turn back the arthritis process. It is very beneficial as it is a minimally invasive surgery. However, the candidate that is suitable for liquid cartilage replacement is limited. It is very important to seek expert advice and MRI scan to identify are you the right candidate for it. Liquid cartilage regeneration is a regeneration process. It will lead sometimes to stiffness and fibrosis within the joint. As we are trying to stimulate the joint to heal and regenerate, more fibrosis and cartilage can form. It is very important to work with physiotherapy and plan your surgery accordingly. Without appropriate movement and appropriate post-operative and pre-operative treatment and planning, it's likely that liquid cartilage, and cartilage is not likely to be successful. Usually with liquid cartilage replacement, once is enough. If the body have taken the replacement, it become a part of you. Your normal cells around the joint will grow onto the liquid cartilage and that defect has then healed. However, other places within the joint could also be damaged later on. And then at those times, we can treat the same problem or diff on a different site with liquid cartilage. Most of the time, I would expect if the body has taken onto the liquid cartilage, that is a cure. It will not need further surgery on that specific site. However, if the liquid cartilage does not take, then it may be an issue. And then we can do further different treatment to stimulate the growth of that.